Oh, wait a minute. I know they will block me if I have Tony Braxton playing. Uh, greetings, everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I'm gonna welcome you to my channel, uh, all my subscribers, my, let me check this dude out, all my peaches, my triggers, my commenters, my haters, my lovers, and supporters. Each and every one of you, I'm gonna say welcome to my channel. Well, uh, right now I'm at the tennis court. I just finished playing around the tennis, and um, uh, I, I had one cigarette this morning, you know, uh, uh, that was, I don't know, probably about five or something like that, it's like nine now, so even in all that, that's good. Uh, I stopped to, and I, I picked up two, but I haven't smoked them, I, hopefully I make them home uh, with these two, and, and that, that's a good indication to me that um, I'm hanging on in there. Okay, uh, there's not a whole lot more to say, other than uh, I know my throat is, I have a lot of phlegm in my throat, you know, which means, which which I need to contact my doctor, Cynthia, and have her subscribe something for me, because she's done it before, and whatever medicine she gave me really knocked things out. But um, uh, that's where I am right now. Uh, other than that, you know, let me see, what's going on here in the Philippines in my life? You know, I'm, I'm still with 10,000 pesos to the end of the month, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm making that work, <laughs> you know, because I, I, I don't want to pull my daytime night move, you know, because that's going to just kind of put me in a, in a position you know, I'll be trying to catch up. So if I can just bite the bullet, and, and uh, me and I bite the bullet, you know, we'll do just fine. We haven't got that much longer to go until the end of the month. And don't forget, next month I'm going to be in Cebu. From uh, somewhere between the 12th and, and the 15th or something like that. One of those two days I'll be at Dynasty Tourist Inn, which reminds me I got to con contact Jen and, and kind of get an idea of uh, exact, uh, make sure I have reservations there. Okay, so those of you in Cebu, I'm looking forward to seeing you, all right? So uh, <clears throat> I just finished, like I said, I'm gonna pack up now. I'm gonna move around and hit a couple of places. Um, maybe, maybe not, maybe I'll just go straight home or, or uh, maybe pop in somewhere. Every place I pop in, I pop in, I smoke a cigarette. So if I don't wanna smoke a cigarette, then I don't pop in, I shouldn't. You know, that's just a form of discipline because the main goal here is to stop smoking cigarettes. You know, I, I was playing here and I couldn't believe all the coughing and all the phlegm coming up and my gasping for air while I'm playing tennis, you know, which which, which is somewhat expected, but you know, it's it, it's just a reminder, you know, that I really need to have my own uh, uh, cancer screening and make sure that I'm in top, tip top shape or if they can prevent something that might be uh, percolating inside me. Okay, so uh, this is Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. And I'll be right back. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Let me listen to some more Tony Braxton. Yeah, I wanted to stop here and I wanted to show you something. You see the building over here? This is a call center. And I remember I did a video about a seaman and they have these throwaway uh, containers. Well, these here, if you look and see, these are containers. These are co containers that they are making into uh, an office, like a call center. They stack them on top of each other, and then they turn them into in the offices. So I just wanted you to just get an idea and see the ingenuity behind using throwaway tankers. You can get an idea of the containers better from this end, but this is the project right here. I'll leave it here for a couple of minutes. Hopefully you get a chance to be able to read it. Okay, greetings everyone. This is Gerard, welcome back. I've just stopped off at this uh, little eatery place it's raining now, I was on my way home. But as it rains, like I said, you always pull into some place nice and dry and kind of hang out until the rain stops. So right now, this is a little eatery place right here. Hello, Dai, how are you? 
Hi, what's your name? My name is Savan Jagiz. Is what? Savan Jagiz. Savan Jagiz. Savan Jagiz? Wow, see I told you, Filipino women have beautiful names. So let's see what they got to eat. Because like I said, whenever you patronize somebody's business, whether to sit down or whatever, you should order something uh, to eat. So, so let's see what she got. What is this? What is that? Okay, that's pork. 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 Okay, and what is this? Beef. Beef. Is it hot? What kind of beef? Oh, okay, okay. And this is. Pork. That's pork. Huh? Oh, gomba. Gomba. I think I had a, a mishap. Gomba. Gomba. Okay. And this is what? Manok halang halang. Chicken. Chicken. Oh, okay, okay. And this is? Penzel. Uh, oh, no, no, I don't like that. What's this? Chicken. Fried? Fried chicken. Oh. Now she's talking my language. Let me see. Long that's not chicken. chicken. That's that's hot dogs. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. <laughs> Let me see. You try to fool me. You don't think I didn't know the difference between hot dogs and chicken? Okay. This, this one's chicken. Okay, this one's chicken. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, I'll tell you what I will have. I will have two pieces of chicken. Yes. Two pieces of chicken. Huh? Eating? Yeah, right here, Gaun, right here, Gaun, right here. Okay, and uh, uh, no, no, uh, come here. So, wait, so what's your name again? Friendly. Friendly, are you married? Yes. How long? How long you been married? 2018. 2018, oh, no, no, wow, it's, oh, wow, 18. 19, 20, almost five years, I think something like that. Okay, is this your shop? This is your business? You and your husband? Ah, so who is this, this your husband? Ah, my apple and amigo. How are you doing? Come here, say hello, hello. Ah, uh, sir, so what's your name? Wilbur, Wilbur, hi Wilbur. How are you doing? How long have you had this business? How long have you been in business here? How long? How long do you have business here? May I'm, I'm one, I'm one. Oh, for a long time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't want to put any more pressure on them trying to ask them to answer questions because it's, it's apparent that they don't speak English that good, but it's okay. But I'm happy to be here. So, you guys okay? So, what else? What, just chicken by itself? I'll tell you what. Do you have rice? Yeah. Let me have it. Okay. Where, where's your rice? Okay, wait, 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 okay, okay, wait, okay. Where's your bowl? No, wait here, wait up, go up. Yep. Ah. Wait, wait, ah. Uh, I'm gonna step inside the kitchen. Here, here. Oh, there's, where's your spoon? You see, because I don't get a whole portion of rice. I just get a little rice, so, so let me do it right here. Okay, very good, very good. That's good, that's good. Ah, very good, very good. Small portion of rice. Okay, okay, so come on. Because uh, I don't want to eat a whole portion of rice. So we're sitting around right here. Okay, thank you. Now, um, wait, 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 wait. Is this, is this, is this? Uh, is this beef, right? Beef? I can't be sauce. Be sauce on rice. Uh, I don't eat plain rice. You gotta put something on this rice. Put some just sauce, just sauce. Ah, uh, there you go. Ah, uh, 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 okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, now if you if you guys don't mind, uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna sit down here and freeze while the rain is coming down. The rain, the rain doesn't last for too long. It only lasts for a short time. And uh, by the time I finish this, it'll probably be time enough for me to go on. So as you can see, I have my fried chicken. I have a little rice just to just to add something a little extra over it and put beef gravy on it just to keep from eating it plain. 
Okay, so you're watching Gerard in the Black in the Philippines with the truth, and I'll be right back. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Getting down for my crown. You can't miss with fried chicken. Hey man, it's good. It's good. Very good. Very good. Very good. It's not greasy. Mm. I might make this my come to spot whenever I leave the house. Mm. It's very One time when I was living in Bacon, when they have low tide. You have low tide and the water goes out. You often see a lot of Filipino children and women. In the kimchi squat, <laughs> picking up something and putting it in a jar. I can never figure out. I mean, on your tissue, not him. I never could figure out what exactly what they were doing. So, yeah, tissue, yeah. Oh, I mean, just having my towel on my bike. Get my towel, yeah. So I can never figure out what it was they were putting in the jar. Yeah, salam, salam, thank you, thank you. I never could figure out what they were putting into the bottle. So finally I called over this one Filipina. And I asked her, what are you doing? What are you getting? Can I see? So she showed me the jar that she had. And inside her jar, she had all of these small corations. All these small, you know, uh, small crabs, small, all these small corations. Uh, uh, I guess the best thing to say, all these small, like, um, uh, um, fish or, or not fish, but they were like crabs or whatever. And it looked like she had hundreds of them in there. Obviously, she been up there a long time collecting them. Hey, this my brother. Ah, my brother. Ah, my apple. Eugene, come here, Eugene. Come here, say hello. This is Eugene, this is the brother. How you doing, Eugene? Ah, uh, very good, very good. So, so anyway. So, I, 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 was, I was kind of dumbfounded with why she was collecting them. And then, I um I found out and I was wondering well what do you do with them? Because they're really too small to do anything with. Come to find out what they did with them. Because they added it 
to the rice to get flavor. It wasn't about trying to get anything meaty or anything like that. It was just some adding something to get flavor to the rice. That's what, that's what this beef juice did to my rice at a flavor. The chicken is very good. Very good. The rain has stopped. So I'll be on my way in a few minutes. Okay, I had to switch phones because the other one died on me. But uh, I was telling you, I just left the old man's house, the old man and Lucy's house, and Tiana. And I had the chance to call the VA to find out about the status Amir's, mo Amir's money, because I applied for her to have get spousal support since her and I got married, so it gave me some chance to do that. So for, come to find out that they had sent me an email, <laughs> I really have to stay on top of it. I don't stay on top of my email, I don't stay on top of my Facebook, I don't stay on top of my YouTube, I don't stay on top of anything, because... Of course, the most important thing on there is what I put out there. <laughs> so, anyway, come to find out that they sent me a request for additional information, so I would do that. But the one thing about that is that it's retroactive. That means it goes back from the time I filed it to the time they granted. So, be, whether it be five months or ten months, you know, she would get all that money in between there that, uh, uh, that she is entitled to. So, I was happy to find out that something else needs to be done to move it along. Okay, so right now, uh, how much is it? Bye. Right. How much, amigo? Huh? Nine five? Nine hundred what? Ninety five. Ninety five. Oh, I thought you were saying 900. I said, what? <laughs> that wasn't a golden goose. That was just chicken. Okay. Uh, nine five. Okay, so. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm a little scared there. See, you talking about understanding <laughs> the, uh, the lack of uh, missing. Uh, uh, 
Okay, nine five. So a hundred that gives him five peso tip. I'll give him I hear him say American, so I know what I mean. Ten peso tip. So another five, so that's twenty-five. Okay, I give him about a thirty uh, about thirty-five peso tip. Okay, here, yeah, amigo. Okay, no, no, what, what, so, so what's that? Five pesos. Oh, I don't want five pesos, I'll give you more, okay? Thank you. Okay, is that okay? Thank you. Okay, <laughs> okay, amigo, salama, thank, thank you very you. much, okay? I, I, I come back again, okay? Okay. Uh, it was quick to give me five pesos change. <laughs> oh, no, no, you must know. I am the ambassador of the U.S. of Black America. I give you more. Okay. So this is Gerard Black in the Philippines. With the troop, I'm about ready to, 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 to mount on up and head to the pond the road. So I'll talk to you later. Peace. died on me. But, uh,
background. You can't miss with fried chicken. Very good. Very good. Very good. It's not greasy. Mm. Mm. I might make this my come to spot whenever I leave the house. Mm. One time, when I was living in Bacon, when they have low tide, <coughs> they have low tide and the water goes out, you often see a lot of Filipino children and women. in the kimchi squat, <laughs> picking up something and putting it in a jar. I can never figure out, I mean, on your tissue, not him. I never could figure out what exactly what they were doing. So, yeah, tissue, yeah. Oh, Emil, just have me my towel on my bike. Get my towel, yeah. So I can never figure out what it was they were putting in the jar. Yeah, salama, salama, thank you, Emil, thank you. I never could figure out what they were putting into the bottle. So finally, I called over this one Filipina What are you doing? What are you getting? Can I see? So she showed me the jar that she had. And inside her jar, she had all of these small corporations. All these small you know, uh, small crabs, small, all these small equations, uh, uh, I guess the best thing to say, all these small, like, um, uh, um, fish or, or, not fish, but they're like crabs or whatever. And it looked like she had hundreds of them in there. Obviously, she's been up there a long time collecting them. Hey, you. This is my brother. Ah, my brother. your brother? Ah, my brother. Yeah. Eugene. Eugene, come here, Eugene. Come here, say hello. This is Eugene, this is the brother. How you doing, Eugene? Ah, very good, very good. So, so anyway. So, I, I, I was, I was kind of, Dumb found it, but why she was collecting them. And then I um I found out and I was wondering, well what do you do with them? Because so they're really too small to do anything with. find out what they did with them is that they added it to the rice to get flavor. It wasn't about trying to get anything meaty or anything like that.
it was just some adding something to give flavor to the rice. That's what that's what this beef juice did to my rice at a flavor. The chicken is very good. Very good. The rain has stopped. So I'll be on my way in a few minutes. children, all these other bitches around me, uh, she's going, she, uh, they went next door and they got me bobo juice. I showed you what bobo juice was once upon a time, but now she's, uh, these are in coconuts and inside is bobo juice. What are you doing? This is what the baby is craving right now, bobo juice, just like it's daddy. What, what, who's this? Oh, this is ugly Luna. <laughs> This all, is the ugly dog. All the dogs they want to. Look, 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 look. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, you guys. Hey. What are you all doing? My God, what a menagerie we have here. This is, this, oh, there's the bogo juice. Ah. Uh, uh, and she's going to cut it, have the dogs eat the, uh, eat no, the inside. No, eat that. They eat the coconut inside. But, and um, they went next door and was chased by a cow. I was looking out the window and, ah, oh, that's my baby, ah! Yeah. <laughs> They're being chased by uh, a cow about, no, a cow, right? Cow. Oh, a cow. Um, but anyway, watch her. Uh, these are images that flash through my mind whenever I think if I get Mia mad that she'll be able to do to me. <laughs> so, so, oh. So you hear in our household, we are, you know, it's at the end of the day, about four o'clock or so, five o'clock. I've had, let me see how many. I had hey, hey, hey. one, go, go. two, three. I've had four cigarettes today, four six today. Uh, yesterday I had five, so I had four today. So I'll probably have two more before the, uh, before the sun goes down. But um, although it's not totally quitting, it's close enough, it's good. So. So I was just out and about today, so you saw it from an earlier video. Hey. You know, each time I try to plan to do something, something else hey. comes up. But I'm trying to give you a little more of the Philippines as I go along, a little bit more about the baby. Where's your baby bump, Mia? Where's your baby bump? Oh, she's a no baby. It's still about the size of rice belly, but it didn't get big, hey. I'm sure. Okay, so I just want to put this little end right here. Remember, you're watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. And remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. I'm going to learn how to say that and be say uh, Dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elderly or pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. Are we living good today, mommy? Yeah. We're living good today. We hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ali Woodson, former lead singer of The Temptation once sung, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king. And what, Mia? And now, what? Never say no. And never say no. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay, I always love you more. And and if, if, if you are looking for a Filipina, uh, we have Rosalind who's on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalind, our housekeeper. Uh, say hello, Rosalind. Hello. Okay, I want to thank her on the camera. All right, and I'll be right back. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. I always love you more. Peace. Thanks, Rosalind.